This isn't the first time that a crash has happened at an auto auction. Back in 2015, eight people were hurt when a driver crashed through a crowd in Framingham. This is the video from that incident. And eight people, again, were hurt there. The I-Team's Ryan Kath here with a look at the safety questions that many people are raising tonight about these auctions. Ryan? And David, crashes like this have happened all over the country. And just last year, a national auto auction group started offering safety training because of how dangerous these crowded events can be. There are plenty of questions tonight, like was there some sort of mechanical failure with the vehicle? An auto safety expert tells the I-Team Jeep Grand Cherokees do have a long history of complaints about unintended acceleration. There's also the setup of the event itself. Authorities described a scene where customers are walking across lanes of traffic as these cars move by. An attorney we interviewed wonders if something needs to change. As we've seen these incidences, high up on the list really should be, again, protecting the public, making a barrier, making a safe uh, uh, space and protected zone where the public uh, can stand. We don't let pedestrians walk in the middle of traffic and neither should we let them approach these vehicles uh, moving by at any rate of speed. The I-Team found just a short list of federal safety problems, including one serious violation in 2014. In that case, OSHA cited the business for not putting the proper safety measures in place to protect employees from moving cars while they were performing maintenance. OSHA and other agencies now back at the scene tonight trying to figure out what went wrong here. For the I-Team, Ryan Kath, WBZ News. Ryan, thank you. We